Hello friends, my name is Gishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to read data using uh, JDBC statement. Right? So, this is the project which I had created in my previous video. Uh, and in this project, uh, we have learned how to insert a new record, how to update an existing record and how to delete uh, any existing record into a rdbms right so what i'll do i'll copy i'll make another copy of this project and in the same workspace i'm just i'm going to copy this project and i'll paste into the same workspace and i will keep the project name as fetch data using a statement or you can say say jdbc statement so this is my project name and now let me close the previous project and in this let me close remaining projects and we'll see this project which we had created in earlier project so uh, in class path I have added my mysql connector jar and if you look into the these two classes we have a java.util and this class is having a static method who is responsible to uh, return your connection object right so you can call dvutil dot get connection method because this is a static method so directly you can call by the class name and once you call this method from the client program that this static block will be executed and connection would have been created and that is going to return to by this api right in the client program so in this client program so we had written this code to perform uh, uh, create update and delete operation but uh, still read, uh, reading data from the database uh, functionality is pending so what i'll do i'll i'm going to create this one and here i'm going to create another method is called um, get employee by id right and let's create this method so create this method so say now this code i'm gonna copy from here to this method and this is the uh, method body i'm going to delete from this client program so this is not anymore needed because this is from our previous example all right so let's delete unnecessary code now here i'm going to show you how to read uh, employee information based on the uh, i mean employees id so here i will try with resources here we have taken two resources connection as well as statement right in this try with resources so why i have used try with resources because i don't want to close explicitly connection as well as statement in finally block so if you look into the connection interface then this connection interface implements auto closable and auto closable is having a only one method that is called close so if you use uh, try with resources then a close method which is available in auto closable interface will be called automatically by the JVM and of the program uh, executor so similarly if you go to the statement JDBC statement this also implements auto closable right so connection as well as is, is uh, connection as well as a statement will be closed automatically uh, end of the program execution so that will be taken care of by the jvm if you use try with resources if you write this code within the try cache then of course you need to write a finally block and explicitly you need to close it right so that's the developer responsibility to close it but in this case jvm will take care of all these things now um, so if you want to insert update or delete uh, many record into the database then of course we use execute update method which is in a statement interface now we are going to select the data right so here uh, of course your sql query is going to change so instead of insert you will have a delete you will have to write select query so i'm going to write select uh, star from so we select a star from and we will have to specify the table name employee table this is our table name and where 
employee underscore id because so just i'm going to hard code hard code id because as earlier we had discussed when you want to execute some hard coded sql then we should go for the statement so now a statement is having another method is called execute query so let me show you this api my machine is a bit slow so please have patience here I execute sorry execute query which accepts a string as an argument and string is nothing but this your sql query right and this api is going to return you uh, something which is called result set so whatever data is going to select by executing this query select query uh, those data is uh, getting populated into the result set object so let's say this is rs now the result set has a several method right so in initially uh, result sets points to the uh, before the first record so once you call the next method on it so we know that we are going to get only one uh, record in this case because we are just selecting database on the employee id and here employee is the primary key right so we are very much sure we are going to get single record right so we can apply uh, instead of go for the uh, while loop we can apply if block right so now inside the if block you can fetch value for every column right so what i'm going to I'm going to get value for every column by using uh, like EMP ID equals to we have to fetch this column value using get sorry get int so primary key when I mean employee ID we have a integer so here employee ID I'm gonna fetch using here you can specify the uh, column name right so employee id is similarly i'm going to fetch employee name i i would say em name equal to rs dot and result i mean employee name we have a worker and equivalent java data type is uh, a string so now i would say employee underscore name just you need to specify the column name. now list fetch email as well right we have email so rs so let's copy this code snippet and paste it over here and i would say call the name as a email now what else uh, we have a salary so salary is nothing but a double i would say salary and rs is having a getter method for almost all data type so get uh, and double i would say uh, column name we can specify as a salary and okay sorry equal to sign i have forgot it now next uh, we want to fetch a uh, bonus so that is big decimal so let's say big decimal i would say bonus bonus equal to i mean again rs dot get i would say big decimal so we have a big decimal so i'm going to pass only single parameter and that is nothing but the column name itself and i would say bonus and let's print all this stuff here itself so i would say employee id separate with tab then employee email now again separate with a tab salary separate with tab then email just separate with tab and let's say bonus so almost we are fetching value for all columns let's run it
so if I can see that for ID I mean 2 there is no database uh, there is no employee with ID 2 so let's say it's 3 right so now information is getting displayed but if you specify the ID which does not exist in the database side then you would have uh, taken that case as well you will have to write if this uh, gives you the false then you can write employee doesn't exist with provided ID that's it and if I specify ID 30 then if you run it then this will handle the negative scenario as well right now I'm going to make it 3 itself okay so you now you got how to fetch data based on the employee ID now I would like to fetch information about all employees so get all employees info I'm going to create a method which will fetch information about the all employees available in the database so same code snippet I'm going to copy and paste it in this method and here instead of now uh, as we know that we are getting more than one record so in this case this is not going to work uh, here you will have to apply the uh, for each uh, while loop sorry while loop and I would say while loop and here you need to keep rs dot next as long as record is in the your result set this is going to return you true and this code will have to uh, write inside this so that this loop will be executed for and right for many times right so now this code's remaining code i'm gonna delete right so if i run this code then you will get information about all employees available in the database so let's run and here you can see oh sorry so code i haven't changed i mean sql query will have to change so select a star from employee there will not be any where clause and let's run it again and here you can see we are getting uh, information about all employees available on the database site so in this video tutorial i have shown you how to perform select operation uh, using a uh, JDBC statement right so similar uh, functionality will also uh, learn how to perform through prepared statement but before going for prepared statement first of all we'll see how to perform it uh, insert update and delete using prepared statement and why we have a this two statement a statement as well as prepare statement will have uh, a different dive on this in the next video tutorial so thanks for watching this video and this code i'm going to uh, put on the github and github location i will specify in a video description itself so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial